TS Tactical. Today we're going to be making an eye splice in a rope. And uh, before I get into what I've done here to prepare the rope for a splice, uh, let's talk a little bit about an eye splice, which we're going to be doing. Uh, an eye splice is just putting a loop into a rope naturally. And this is manila rope. Um, got this at Lowe's. You can get it anywhere. Uh, Learn how to splice rope back in the Navy. Uh, we had to make ice splices to hang climbing ropes, and ice splices are perfect for that. Uh, what you do is you make a loop in the end, you splice a loop in, and then you just girth hitch a rope onto a post, just like so, and you make a stable platform for a climbing rope. Now, why splice a rope? Well, splicing is much stronger than tying a knot in a rope. So instead of tying a rope onto something, splicing it enables you to have extra strength in the rope, especially in natural fiber ropes like manila, uh, things like that. Some of the synthetics that are available now are pretty tough themselves, so uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to do it to the synthetic ropes, but it's definitely, uh, definitely strong in a manila rope. So what I've done is, this is a three-strand rope, and I went to Lowe's, Home Depot, I can't remember where I was, but I picked up some uh, colored electrical tape, and what I did is, I first taped off the point at which I wanted to end my splice at in one of the ends of this manila rope. Here's the other end. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, try to cut in a little video here showing how uh, the guys at Home Depot tried to burn a manila rope to cut it instead of just uh, finding something to cut it. Pretty funny. So uh, at some point during this video I'll try to splice that in. So once you have your strands here, uh, tape off the point at which you want to end the splice. So just for demonstration purposes, I didn't really do a long splice and I, I probably won't show too much of it here, but you want to get about two or three, maybe four splices or turns uh, into the, the different strands of the rope here. So and then what I did is I separated it by color so it'll be easy to see on screen here. And it's also really helpful when you're learning to do this to actually have the full length of your strands taped. And it'll really help you see the pattern within the weave and help you learn this. Um, splicing rope is definitely a depreciable skill. I had to practice a little bit myself before I really got it down. I was hanging out with my friend Jack from the Survival Podcast this weekend. And uh, we were laughing at the, uh, the guys cutting the rope there in Home Depot. But uh, anyhow... Uh, let's let's go ahead and start this here. Uh, another thing to note is that um, the point at which you want to end your splice should also be taped off. And that'll give you a starting point. So what you have is these are the parts that are going to be spliced in, and you tape off where you want to start your splice at or end, and then you want to tape off the other side where you want the eye to to meet up. So these would be your spliced ends, which will splice into the rope, and the black electrical tape here is the length of your, your loop that you're going to make, or the eye that you're going to make. So one thing that I've found that helps me is I separate these um, not only by color, but I think of them as a left, a center, and a right. And I know it's going to be a little backwards on screen here, and uh, I'll try to flip this around, but... Anyhow, what you want to do is, is kind of get it into your head that there's a left side, a center, and a right side. So what you're going to do, so let me see if I can show this right here. You're going to take your center strand and start with that. And if you're looking at the different strands here, you're going to just separate this apart. And you'll see the three strands open up. Now the middle part is going to insert into the middle of these strands. So if you think of this as your left, this is your right, and this is your center, that first strand of red here in the center is going to insert right there. So there's the center. Now your blue strand, or your left side, is going to come right on the left, and come right in like that. 
So what you've got is, if this opens up in three pieces, the blue goes to the left, the red comes under the center. Now, the right side is the side that you really have to remember what to do here, because it's going to go a different direction. Instead of going inside, it's going to come down and out. Just like so. And you'll really start to see the pattern after I get the next weave down and it'll be a little easier to, to understand what's going on. But if you can remember the left, right, and center thing, it's really going to help you out. So again, we'll start with the center and we'll open up the next spot. And again, we're going to come into the center with the red. to the left with the blue oh, that's wrong with the blue there we go yep, that's still wrong I'm getting turned around here there's where the blue is, right here you really gotta pay attention to the splicing stuff where it can get the best of you uh, and then the yellow, remember as the last one, it's going to come down and out. Okay, I goofed up somewhere. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the red. Go back to our first tuck here. Play around with this and get it right here. Alright, let's just start all over again. Sorry about that. Hopefully it's a little clearer this time. Alright, separate your strands. Through the middle with your red. As you can see, obviously, I need some more practice with this. Through the middle with the red. The blue is going to come through the left. Let's get those together. And the yellow is going to come underneath. That's what I did wrong the last time. The yellow is going to come underneath and around. So then the next spot opens up. Red goes in the middle. Blue comes around to the left, and the yellow back and out. Okay, now it's right. So what you'll see as the pattern starts to develop is that if you look at a, at a certain colored area, you'll see this, this ridge here of the original line. So see there's two strands there. Flip to the red, two strands there, flip to the yellow, two strands there. So you can start to see the pattern merge, and it all looks very uniform, and if it's not, you're doing it wrong, as I was doing earlier. So when you get to the end, um, you can try to measure this out really well before you stop, but if you just tuck these in, You can just tape off the end here as you're done with the splice, but an eye splice is very strong. It's not going to go anywhere. Your rope, your uh, <laughs> your rope's going to give out before your uh, uh, your splice does. So again, very strong way to make an eye into a rope without the need for a knot, and keeps its original strength. This has been an eye splice. ITS Tactical is not of the week. Thanks for watching.